you ready for Red Lobster? I'm ready! Second basement. We're matching. Red Lobster games. You excited? Woo! Yeah, I like your cheddar biscuits. This is the evening my wife accepted her new job offer. For a long time now, we've been talking about how a change in environment could be good for her. So the moment she got the call, I knew it was time to take her out to celebrate at the Michelin star rated Sushi Nakazawa for a 21 course omakase experience. <laughs> Having been married for close to nine months now, our marriage has definitely gone through its own growing pains. Through the ups and downs though, we always try to celebrate big moments in our lives together because they mark a chapter in our lives that we turn the page from. When you're married to your best friend, sometimes it's easy to get complacent living together as just friends. Celebrating moments like these help us to look past that and remind us of the love and appreciation we have for each other as a couple. The term omakase literally means I leave it up to you in Japanese, and it refers to the guests leaving it up to the chef to select and serve seasonal specialties. It's a show of trust, a nonverbal commitment that you trust that person to take care of you. It's the same type of trust you establish with someone you care about, and when you buy into it, you trust that you'll be in good hands. Uh, now I don't want to get too sentimental with this video, but I did want to share my experience eating at the Michelin star rated Sushi Nakazawa. My wife's new job was a great reason to celebrate. In the omakase experience, we got to enjoy 21 nigiri pieces, all featuring different fish and seafood from around the world. Everything is freshly caught and the attention to detail is unmatched. <laughs> The head chef Daisuke Nakazawa was actually apprenticed by one of the greatest living sushi craftsmen on earth, Jira Ono, and it shows to the quality of every bite. So, I hope you guys can sit back, relax, and enjoy this meal almost as much as we did. Right? 
So we peel each layer and then we take the uh, fat, pure fat in between. Bite the butter and butter. Fatty tuna. Yeah. It's my favorite. Tuna belly. This is from the inner side of the tuna here. It's fine. And the last one, the third one, is near the skin. And green sea urchin uh, from Maine. From Maine, huh? Yes, local. Yeah. Sea urchin from Hokkaido, Japan. Okay. Yeah, we do a lot of things to keep the uh, seaweed crispy. Mm -hmm. So please enjoy before we uh, before seaweed gets salty. Yeah. 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 So bad. Yeah, but, uh, enjoy. Thank you. Anabu. See eel. Yes. The eels are good for men. for men. How's your red lobster, baby? <laughs> so good! That was amazing, actually. That sushi, each piece, that experience, it was really good. But I don't mind going to red lobster next time. <laughs> I'm not hungry. Not hungry? No. Alright, guys, we are back home now. Babe, what are we doing? And what time is it? We're making ramen. Yemi Bai was nice enough to send this package to me in honor of their anniversary. First step, fill up appropriate amount of water. Next, we turn the heat on. Now, unbag. We get ramen noodles, of course, and then we get a little vegetable seasoning. We get the soup base and the beef bone broth base. The spicy hot scallops. So I'm thinking about using all of these as like a little topping. We we'll use the seaweed snack as a topping. We'll make like a little meal based off of this yummy bai package. I'm gonna open up this kimchi. So this is the packaged stir-fried kimchi that we're working with. So now that the water is boiling, I have all of the soup base powders and also the dried vegetables put in my bowl. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it. Mix it up so you just get rid of those clumps. So we'll go ahead, we'll stick these in and boom. let that boil. So I like to cook mine al dente. I like to start flipping these early. You know, it's just so they get an even cook. Leave it back to a boil, reduce the heat a little bit just so we can control this cook better. All right, let's see what we're working with. So now I'm gonna take it off the heat, but we'll just let it cook in its uh, remaining heat. And it's time to plate. guys so this is our final product they don't look the best but they taste pretty good all right guys if you don't already know the best way to eat your lamin is straight out the pot just like this mm. all right guys so if you guys want to try some of those yummy buy products like i did go to their website and make sure you use the code danny10 for ten dollars off but without further ado thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe. This is Danny Kim checking out. Peace.